So we are en route to Guildford. Um, we kickstart in two hours. Eek! Um, luckily, it stopped raining. I'm really hoping it's not raining in Guildford because that would be the best start to the 19 hours. But here we go. We've got this. So tonight I am running 19 hours. I'm running it for the Samaritans. Previous statistics show that 19 people every day in the UK take their own lives. My really, really oldest and greatest friend, Jo Lunn, her mum has volunteered for the Samaritans for over 40 years. I just wanted to do something that was a big enough challenge to really put a spotlight on this issue that we have and that people are struggling to speak out. And with, with the Samaritans, they just do such an amazing job just to raise money to give them more support. It's just something that I, I really wanted to do. In my training sessions, I've run up to 10 hours, so I know how that feels. Anything beyond that, I don't, so it's almost double that I have to do. Um, so the unknown. Um, do you know what? I'm not going to say it scares me. It excites me. At the end, I just think I'm going to feel incredibly proud of myself. I just hope I get to the end. I feel ready, I feel prepared. Um, I am going into the unknown. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel after a certain amount of time. We're on uh, the technical section by the canal, so we're just walking it a little bit. But I feel like with our head torches on, we're like part of the police force, kind of. We are an hour in, 18 hours to go. Feeling good, five miles in. Nearly done. We're in there uh, back to headquarters. How's everyone feeling? Yeah. Super. Yay! Two hours down. Two hours down. 17 to go. Back at base camp. Just gonna refuel and then get back out on the road. Strong. Right, you got enough water? Yeah. So this is gonna be. went out onto the trails and we went into the woods. It all started to feel a little bit eerie. I thought at the time, it's just, you know, my body going, you should be in bed now. Suddenly, there was just this overwhelm of doom. I never trained in different weather conditions and that I think was, was quite a new, that was something I learned massively on this was it was a bit of a rookie mistake not to actually embrace the British weather and get out when it was, um, when it was bad and do a long training run. And looking back it was nothing compared to what was about to happen. <laughs> struggling. I thought I was in a good place a moment ago. My feet are killing. My feet are drenched. I always felt like when we got to Virginia Water, everything was just going to be so much fun and so much better. And that route to Virginia Water um, just seemed to go on f literally forever. I had it in my mind that it was a shorter route than what it was. I was thinking we were about three miles away um, and he said we were nine and nine miles just seemed a long, long way. And then we stopped um, at this cafe 
I hadn't kind of fueled for a while and they had this amazing vegan sausage sandwich on there. I had the whole lot. Oh, there's loads of stuff you tell her about. We'd set off and everything just lay really heavy on my stomach. And I was just going, come on, Virginia Water, please just be here. I'm feeling nauseous, my stomach's heavy, my feet are burning. And I just thought, oh God, I just, I just want to, I just want to feel better. This is, this is hard. This is really, really tough. And then we finally got to Virginia Water and I just felt so emotional. I was just in a very, very bad place and not at any point mentally did I think I'm going to quit. It never did that come across. My biggest fear was I physically didn't think I could do it. My legs have seized up. I don't think I can physically put one foot in front of the other. My mind's still there. It's still willing to drive through this. It's still willing to go through anything, but I don't think I can stand back up. Those loops of Virginia water were a roller coaster. I held back from everyone else and Mike was saying, you know, is everything okay? And I was just like, I just need a moment. I need to kind of focus and almost really think about why I did this and go back to the beginning. How many people out there feel like they can't hold on and do this anymore? And, you know, the reason I, I gave it the title Run for Hope is because the hope stood for hold on pain ends. And it does, it does end. One thing that I learned from this, ultimately, is that I'm stronger than I thought I was. I wanted to bring the community together, whether that be in person or virtually, and I feel like that happened. You know, I'm an ordinary person just putting one foot in front of the other. I'm not elite. I've not got any superpowers. I literally just wanted to make some noise. And I hope the one thing that I've got from it is that I've, I've allowed people to realize anyone can do this. The tough times we go through will ultimately end and you will find happiness. <laughs>